Hello guys, Game Changers back again with another video and today I'm showing you how to make easy web apps on iOS, one page web apps, without a jailbreak or PC needed at all, and you don't need IPCU either, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> And we're back guys, so yeah, as I said, I'm showing you how to make a simple web clip. Um, if you want to share this with people so other people can use and get this web clip, you want to open it up open up the website I use to make the web clip on uh, a document, and then when you search it, it'll direct you to a link. If you copy that link and paste it to your friends, and then they paste it in their Safari, it'll allow them to download your app. So right now I'm just showing you uh, a quick one I made before we started this video. It was a really quick uh, build. As you can see, game at game changers. It's got the website Earl and so on. Removable and full screen. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We can also change the description on this. So first thing you want to do is download on universe. The link will be in the description as always and it will be a Royal Earls link until I start making a bit more money. So you want to download this and then open it. This is on the App Store, absolutely free. Don't need to get the premium version, you can just use the free version where you get a dot on universe website because they won't even see that because it's downloaded as an app anyway. So name it whatever you want. Put your social medias on there if you want, your email. Or a description if you want a description in it or pretty simple stuff choose a photo that's going to be the logo on there uh, you can customize the earl and pay if you want but I wouldn't I just choose a name that you're going to use it could be random letters anything really but obviously because gorilla is my logo and game is me I use that you want to build it if you want to change anything then you want to edit so as you can see here it says customize I always go for the rainbow background because it gives the best effect on them um, on the app the web app version of the website it looks great because as soon as you load up it's just changing colors in the background so they do look pretty good for simple things so once you save it you want to press edit me I change the name and stuff go down and I put it on the most boxes I can have because I can fit on as much as I can then obviously change the text and stuff to however you want it you can have a website you can put YouTube videos on your photos uh, wallpapers you can do anything with this literally you can even have your most recent tweets pop up um, as you guys know I've, uh, I've done a, a lot of stuff with this as app discovery goes we use this as our home screen so yeah as you can see now I'm just saving the website that I've made so far it's just a quick one again to show you how it all works again if you want you want to copy the earl so you want to press on the share button after that you want to open safari you want to go to this website and this is where you're going to make your uh, your web apps your profile configurators so you want to give the app label obviously mine's just game at the moment description for your profile so um, I'll just put something like stuff about game or stuff from game and then you want to do your warning your identifier which is uh, I'm not really sure, but I normally put my website real there and it works perfect. So I'll just put paste. Easy doing. And then you want to choose file from your photos. This is pretty much to be the logo of the app. And then you want to put your app URL under there. And then your app by here so it pops up underneath. And then when you press generate profile in Safari, if you press it, it'll download it straight away. 
if you're not in Safari and you're doing this in documents so you can share with your friends, it'll take you to a weird website that'll tell you information about the profile. You just want to copy the link from there and send it to your friends and they'll be able to install the profile. So as you can see, we'll just go into it now. I just installed it. Once it loads, there it is. As you can see, it's an app. It's a web app. So to make a one screen web app, this is possibly the best way to do it. Or just to make a simple app about your YouTube channel and so on. Anyway guys, uh, that's basically it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.